Hi everyone. So in order to convert an FCM file to an SVG file, found out this recently, easiest thing to do is go to Ideas RS software. Um, and this software will pop up. And what you do is browse to find the file that you want. Once you have the file that you want, you click on convert FCM to SVG. and then download, click on download link. And here it is. All you have to do is right click on the picture, save as, click on save. <laughs> and find it, here it is, okay? And what do you do with it? You can go on to Cricut Design Space Click on Upload, Upload Image, Browse. Save. Click on it again. Insert Image. And here it is ready for you to edit. Change the size. Cut it if you would like. All right, I hope this helps you out. And now um, this is the other way of converting an FCM file to an SVG file um, because the Idea R Us um, software program only allows you 10 conversions per day. Um, if you want to do more, you would have to buy conversion credits according to um, what I read in their forum. All right, so you're going to open your Canvas workspace. You are going to um, select a project. I'm going to do that. All right, this is an FCM file. What you do is you make sure that you get rid of anything that you do not want um, to convert. And um, this needs to be a blank canvas. So you go into view, uncheck any boxes that you have, and then you've got right here um, a blank canvas and the only thing that you see is the, um, the bell. You're going to get your snipping tool if you don't already have the snipping tool and do not know how to find it, you click down here, type in snipping tool, see how quickly it comes up, click on it, and it opens up. Okay? Um, click on new, and then you want to select the item that you want to work on. Next, save it and you name it. I'm gonna save it on my desktop so that I can find it quicker and click off on that. Get rid of that and get rid of that. Here it is. Okay, so next thing you're going to do is you are going to get Inkscape. If you don't already have it, I'll leave a link uh, for both programs in the comment section. You click OK and a new window is going to open. Maximize it. You click on the item that you want to work on. You go into Path and then Trace Bitmark, um, Bitmap. then you are going to click on live preview and you are going to increase the threshold of the brightness cutoff. And what I'm looking for here, let me reset this. What I normally look for is I wanna make sure that I see uh, more lines connecting, okay? See how it's happening? Every time I click it, it gets darker. I think that's good enough. 
So I'm going to click on OK and I am going to look at it. That looks perfect. That is just fine. Get rid of the original. Delete. Click on File, Save As, and it's going to save as an SVG file. Okay, let's do that bell two, save, exit out of that, go into Cricut Design Space, and upload, upload image, browse, bell two, open, save, click on it to select it, insert image, and into your canvas. Okay, and here it is, ready for you to um, change the color if you like, ready for you to change the shape if you like. One other thing, if you notice with this one, when I change the color, It's just here, so that means that I'm going to be cutting on the outside and then on the inside, okay? A quick fix for that, if you have those double lines, you can click on Contour. Get rid of one of those and the two little ones, okay? And here you go, just one layer.